Okay, today I'm going to talk about a couple of upcoming videos. Uh, first, in front of us, you'll see the box and this green motor. And if I pan over this way, you see that big tank right there. It's an air tank. Uh, you can probably guess by now I'm going to build an air compressor. Uh, we're going to unbox this pump together. It just came in the mail today. So, before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and show you a couple, couple more upcoming videos. You'll notice uh, that barrel over there and that dust collector on top. I'm going to, going to build a dust collector for the shop with that. Uh, that's a pretty simple project. Uh, you'll see that that's dryer vent and that little connector right there that's part of it so I'll have dust collection for my shop here pan around here a little bit this is one of my workbenches in the shop uh, this bench that we're sitting on right here this is going to be a table saw and that saw that's sitting on top of it right there, that's going to be the saw I use to build this table saw with. And that wood and stuff, that's going to be the fence for it. Uh, right here, don't look at that suitcase. But this, uh, that jumble of mess right there, that's going to be a grinder. A 2 by 72 grinder. All these projects I have lined up ready to go together now. Uh, but for now, I want to unbox this motor and show you what we're going to be putting together on this air compressor. Or actually, I mean pump. This is the motor. This is the pump. These are the intake filters for the air. Okay. That's probably the heaviest box I've ever seen. It's all thick. It's got handles in it. This is a twin cylinder air compressor pump in the V formation. And I think it should it's raised to pump up to 120 psi. You hear the compression there. So that's a good looking uh looking pump there. It's gold. The gold will go good with the green motor. Uh, my only problem building this is I'm going to have to figure out a base to weld to the tank and I'll probably have to take that to work to do that. But my main uh, object here is to show you the parts you'll need and, the, and how to put them together. Uh, you really don't necessarily need to see me doing the welding part. Although, if I can get a chance to, I'll show you. These are just air cleaners. Let's see if there's a filter in them. It's just a little sponge filter. So, that'll be easy to keep clean. It has a... I'll show you. That's a glass for the oil level. When you put oil in it, you'll level it up with that red dot right there. So. This is going to be a pretty exciting build for me for a couple reasons. 
uh, first I need a I need a good air compressor and secondly it's fun to build stuff so this ought to be a good compressor I mean that tank's 60 gallon so I mean that should be a pretty good sized tank I'll have to figure out how to get some wheels on it too or find a good place to mount it permanent Uh, got the dipstick here. Well, not the dipstick, but the oil fill plug hole. Uh, one more part I have coming is the pressure switch. Once this builds up enough pressure, the switch will shut the motor off so that it stops at whatever pressure I set it at. And it has val uh, meters, or not meters, it has the gauges with it. So, uh, this will be a pretty fun project. Stay tuned. I uh, have like I say, one, two, three, at least four projects coming up, so be looking out for them.